Well, the times of waking up late and gatherings with friends and family and finding ways to keep yourself busy, well, it's a distant memory at this stage. If you're feeling a little bit low and operating that way, we must say you might be suffering from post-holiday depression. Well, here to clear things up and to talk through the holiday blues with us this morning, uh, Farmer Dynamics spokesperson Mariska van Aswegen. It's great to have you on the show this nice morning. Nice to be back here. I want to talk about this. I mean, we live in a society where we basically diagnose everything. There's a name for anything that you're suffering from. Tell me about post-holiday depression. And also, how common is it in South Africa? I mean, do we have stats for this? Ilona, um, I think yeah, a lot of us can associate with it. And it's basically just once you have to exchange your family and friends and the beautiful beaches and the blue skies for the view of your laptop in the office and the stuff your office, you can, it's, it's, it's perfectly normal for you to do feel, you know, a dips in your mood and your energy levels and motivation, etc. Statistics for South Africa is not um, readily available, but if we look at, at stats for the United States, Americans, about a quarter of them, or 25%, have been shown to suffer from post-holiday depression. So we can uh, accept that that will be common for South Africa as well, and for the rest of the world for that matter. I'm thinking immediately symptoms, because what's the difference between something like a post-holiday depression and just depression in general? I mean, what are the symptoms? So you've been on a holiday, it's been amazing, you've seen the family, and you just put it really well. You have to exchange that view for a view in front of your laptop. What do you feel? It's, there are similarities between the, the symptoms. Usually with post-holiday depression, you have you can experience uh, symptoms like headaches, for instance, loss of appetite, um, feelings of tiredness. It, it often is related to your motivation and strong feelings of nostalgia is often also common. Ah, oh, it's nostalgia. We, we all know that, yes. especially when it comes to the holidays. What role does social media play when it comes to post-holiday depression? I'm just thinking of you looking at your own pictures on your profile, thinking, ah, it was so good. Or even stalking other people's profiles, <laughs> having a look at the holidays that they've had. What impact does social media have when it comes to post-holiday depression? Social media can have um, two different impacts. So one is stalking other friends and, and, and you know, looking at their experiences and you can have serious bout of FOMO or f mm. fear of missing out. Yeah. But it is sometimes good and it is advisable to reflect a little bit on your holiday, to go back to those good times, relive those memories, and that can help you just get over these feelings of depression. But we must also be careful not to be connected all the time. Mm. So it is um, uh, one of the advices that we give is to try to disconnect as well, not just from social media, but at the office as well. Take some time even if it's 10 minutes in an hour, take some time out, don't answer that phone call, don't look at your emails and stay off the social media platforms because you need to give your brain that time to just switch off as well because that can even load these feelings of demotivation and, and tiredness, etc, etc. Immediately I think, how does one deal or treat post-holiday depression? I mean, do you resign your job and go and travel again? Because that's just so appealing, right? I'll vote for that one. But basically, we've mentioned reflection. It's important for you to reflect with your family and friends. Go back to those good times because that does help you to, to move on um, when you're back at the office as well. Very important for you to identify what is it that you really enjoyed in your holiday. Was it a destination? Was it a specific activity that you did? Uh, spending more time with certain people and try to either the practice those activities during the course of the year. You may have to invest in equipment to enjoy it more regularly or plan your next holiday. Mm. If you know you love a destination and you had good times there, maybe think about it for your next trip because that just helps you to move out of the past and have something to look forward to in the future as well. Just quickly, I mean, if the situation doesn't improve, what to do? It's important for you to then maybe consider to talk to your, to your friends and family or mm. consider a, a mental health professional who can just help you identify whether it is post-holiday depression and mm. can help you just deal with those symptoms and, and, and get you back into reality quick, uh, quicker. But they can also help you identify whether there's a more serious condition mm. underlying depression or anxiety that you need treatment for. Oh, well, we hope it's not that serious. Mariska, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Our experts in studio this morning helping us out with that post holiday depression well if you're suffering from some if you're watching with us this morning and you want to continue this conversation it's always available on facebook.com forward slash expresso morning show savc3 also with our hashtag expresso show well from uh, our holiday depression to some singing our sopranos are in our studio this morning time for some music